happy new year everyone welcome to 2024 it's nice to have you here on my channel thank you so much for sticking by this is the first recording of 2024 and i'm so excited for this year and what the year has in store for us i'm hoping that this year is going to be an amazing year for everyone and that we're able to achieve everything that we are set our minds to do if you're new here welcome my name is day 22 i've been in germany for a couple of years and on my channel i share information on how to thrive in germany i have introduced a new segment to my youtube channel where i have conversations with people who have been living in germany for a couple of years where they share their experience and perhaps you can learn a thing or two from what they have to share so if you're interested in learning more about life in germany or you're interested in studying in germany or relocating to germany as a professional please subscribe to my channel and um you know join the community basically right um today we are going to talk about me <laughs> so having lived in germany for about seven years now i think there are some things that i could have done differently that could have probably improved my the quality of my life right now <laughs> right not to say that i'm not grateful i'm 100 percent very much grateful for where i'm right now in my life however i feel like you know you can learn from other people's mistakes and that is why i thought this video would be very helpful for anyone who is you know currently in germany or thinking of coming to germany or is currently maybe in a certain stage of their lives where they are not sure where to go to okay so let's get right into it <laughs> First on my list is learning German up until C1 and that involves taking intensive language classes to learn German up until C1. Why do I say this? I have forgotten some opportunities as a result of my inability to speak the German language. A couple of them being internships and job opportunities. Also some kind of volunteering experience that involves you actually speaking the German language. How could I have done this differently? I probably should have taken lesser courses during the semester and focused on learning the language. Take um, courses during the semester that were offered in the evening and then attend an intensive language class that, that was like maybe for five hours a day. I have tried to attend evening classes to learn the German language during my program. It did not work for me at all. I would recommend um the intensive language classes my second point i know some people would disagree with me on this um but i think i should have traveled more i should have explored more and by traveling more i mean like exploring more regions in germany and also exploring more european countries i currently can't say i have been to all the regions in in germany like all the 16 states in germany basically i think i've only been to like five or six <laughs> and for someone who has been here for that long it's a bit not disappointing but it's a bit surprising for me it's not impossible to explore the regions right now as an employee but i think i have other things to also think about aside from working full-time but when you are a student you have the opportunity to like travel you have holidays like a three month holiday where you can work and also take some time off to explore and all of that and i think i didn't do enough of that but let's see what 2024 holds <laughs> first on my list is to build my network and to maintain interactions i did not do this well enough i did it like i think i did okay but i think it could have been better especially in terms of maintaining the connections that i have built I didn't do that well enough <laughs> anyway i'm going to read up on how to maintain and build relationships i know there is a book on that to kind of inform myself on how to navigate this i didn't do that well enough and we need to work on that basically yeah i should have created my youtube channel in 20, 2017 when i came to germany in 2016 from 2017 i was already i was playing around the thought of okay i want to have a youtube channel I think it would be nice the idea was the same to share information with people to make sure that people are well informed about how to relocate to germany and all of that all of that i think if i started around that time just before the pandemic um it would be a whole lot it would be a completely different ball game right now but anyway we are still grateful for where we are <laughs> i started my youtube channel during the pandemic in 2020 
but yeah i should have created my channel in 2017 when i wanted to so if you're watching this and there's something that is on your mind that you're thinking of doing and you're like yeah you're not sure you're shy and all of that please just do it <laughs> okay just do it to the next point i should have taken more pictures i'm not good at I don't, I'm not good at taking pictures of myself. I take pictures of things. I take pictures of people and ex like people experiencing things and all of that. I should have taken more pictures of myself because there's really so much memories that my brain can retain. And having those pictures, having those short clips, those videos, those pictures and everything would help me to relieve that experience all over again. I did not do that enough. I, I probably didn't do it at all. Like, so I, I I don't really have a lot of pictures of me as a student. I also don't have a lot of pictures of me, like maybe traveling and all of that. I want to change that. And I think it's important to, you know, document your life. And it also helps you to be much more grateful. Not to say like, if you, if you randomly think about an experience that you would not be grateful for it, but seeing how far you have come. If I had a picture of myself as a student, maybe studying in class or something, and I think of how far I've come right now, I would be so, you know, I'll be more grateful. If I see the picture, I can kind of relieve that experience all over again. Or if I see a video, I can relieve that experience all over again. So we are going to change that. We are going to make an effort. <laughs> no, let me say let's change, we are going to change that. We're going to make an effort to change that, to document um, our lives, my life, and like share experiences with people that i cherish i want to look back at those videos now or those pictures that i took like like now and be like oh this was um how i was then this is how far i've come you know based off of the year that i'm looking at the video you understand what i mean so yeah i think this is something i want to work on for this year and i'm excited for that and as a result of this i'm back on instagram yes i was off instagram for about two years so if you're on instagram follow me on instagram please follow me on instagram <laughs> yeah and let's be friends on instagram yeah so the next point is financial planning yes i have a background in economics i'm big on budgeting and all of that but i think i didn't do it enough as a student i also use revolut revolut was like at my fingertips you know i could easily have access to it i could see how how my investments were working and all of that as students we mostly focus on okay i'm only going to invest when i start working full time and i have you know big money but little drops of water make a mighty ocean 50 euros here 20 euros there to invest in some company you're interested in it's going to add up long term if you use a a camera from canon or from sony it would make sense for you to invest in them so things like that basically like you don't have to buy 100 shares or 200 shares you could buy one or you could buy a part of one they do that these days so the last but one point is having a better understanding of the german work culture and etiquette um i think for me I had to experience that to be able to understand it better but there are also so many resources out there that you can read up on to help you understand it better fine experience is the best teacher yes but reading up on it will also would help you hit the ground running to have a better understanding of how to interact with your colleagues having a balanced lifestyle i can say for a fact that i didn't have a balanced lifestyle as a student because as an international student i was working i was studying I was learning german i was also looking for opportunities to advance myself and yes at the time this was important i didn't really have a social life i wasn't like going out i traveled a couple of times but that was because okay maybe i i um i have been able to achieve one thing for example i was done with um <clears throat> an example was maybe i was done with with the semester and so school was taking the back seat then i picked up something that was previously on the back seat and then i brought it forward to focus on that and then when school started again that thing went back to the back seat so now i am trying to live a balanced life because it's absolutely important for example prioritizing movement 
prioritizing eating well, prioritizing like socializing and interacting with more people related to my, my third or fourth point, improving my network, like building my network and improving my network. So yeah, these are the things that I want to improve on. If you can relate to any of this, drop your comments down in the comment section below so we can have a conversation about this. And what are the things that you want to do this year? Like in 2024, what are the things you're thinking of? Okay, this is something I want to do differently for myself. Let me know in the comment section below. So that's the end of this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'll see you in the next one. Keep thriving. Bye.